Hello and welcome to my small tutorial on how I edit my videos. A uh, little disclaimer, um, I'm not a professional and uh, those things I show you work the best for me and they doesn't have to work for you. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my small tutorial and let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you how I edit my thumbnail. So I use the app um, PixArt. And then I just uh, pick the screenshot I took from the video and then I just type the K-pop group name in here that in that case is uh, Cherry Bullet. And here you can see those small little stickers and then um, I just choose one of them and yeah I just do a little bit rendering and place it uh, the way I want it. If the title isn't in the stickers, I uh, yeah just type it in and then I choose um, a color and a cute font and then I just um, place it the way I want it. And for the last step, I uh, go to effects and FX and then I just uh, choose HDR and then I'm done and just save it to my pictures. So now for the actual editing, I'm using the app Power Director and it's available for Android and iOS. And then I'm going to choose the video I want to edit and the first step is uh, to cut it and after that I'm going to match the audio to my video. You can insert the music where the small melody button is and then you can go to files and then you're able to choose the music you want to use for your video. Now you're able to fit the music to your video and you just swipe a little bit right and swipe a little bit left and then there is a point where the music fits to your video. Now I'm going to show you how to insert your thumbnail and you just go to those two overlaying levels and then you go to pictures and then you're able to insert your thumbnail and you can also fit the length and the format. Another thing I like to do is go to adjustments and set the temperature for the video because this video is quite yellow and I just want it to be a little bit cooler and at the same time I'm going to sharpness and sharpen uh, the quality of the video. Another thing I always do is to fit in the video because it's not the right format for Instagram and yeah, I just fit it in till it fits. For the next step I go to pan and zoom. Now I'm choosing the first point where I kind of cut my video so I start the like moving editing of the video and for that I just um, start with setting the starting position. After that I'm going to choose uh, the ending position and uh, that is just where the camera should stop moving. You kind of need to be careful that the video still stays in the frame because if that isn't the case you will have a black edge. Here you can see how it actually works. So I set uh, the camera movement to the right and now the camera moves to the right. and. Um, I kind of set it with my movements of my arms or if I go to the right then I just set the camera movement to the right or to the left, it uh, depends where I'm going. And this is actually all I do when I edit my videos. Like for example if I go to the front then I zoom out, if I go to the back I zoom in, if I go to the right then I move the camera to the right and yeah it kind of depends on your movements in the video but it's actually quite simple. Here's a short result of the editing we did so far.
Here you can see the cut that we chose before. The reason why I did that is that I don't have to set every starting picture on my own. Because here you can see that I have to zoom in and zoom out to find the right position where the other short scene ended and this is a lot of work and I didn't find any other method to do this. Um, so it's just what I do like once or twice in a video. So this is the reason why I choose the method I'm doing right now. But once you get the hang of it and kind of find orientation points, it's quite easy to get a smooth transition. Here is the result for the smooth transition. For the last step, I'm going to show you how I put my ads in the video. So you go to those two overlaying levels again and then go to text and then you're able to uh, set the length of the text, so how long it should be in the video. And uh, you're also able to put the text in it, obviously, and um, you can also choose like the transparency of the text you put in. So this is all I do when I edit my videos and I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I could inspire you to edit your videos in like a new way.